What's up, everybody? Coming to you from the truck again. A little bit of a recap over the last couple of days. All right, so Thursday came up to uh, show low to help my father-in-law with his hunt. We were out the first couple of days. You've uh, now seen the footage of that. And we had a great time. And I uh, got actually a, a stock in on a bugling bull, so I, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. The rut is definitely not full tilt right now. I made a comment on coosewhitetail.com uh, yesterday, and I just said, you know, if we were going from a scale of 0 to 10, I would give it like a 2.5 right now. It's pretty um, pretty dismal. It's Sunday. I, uh, I actually don't hunt on Sunday, and so instead of hunting today, we kind of just hung out together as a family, and I'm headed over to hunt with a couple of other buddies from my of mine um, in a different unit that's nearby, and we're going to elk hunt for another day and a half or so, and so we will see kind of how that goes. So hoping to get some more footage in the next day and a half, and I will... Um, try to throw that up right here after this little update. I hope that everybody is, that is out elk hunting is having fun and enjoying the time out, staying safe, um, and hopefully uh, your unit or your area that you're hunting is rutting a little harder than we are. All right, guys, we will see how things go.
before light, still dark. And uh, we're listening to some bugles and setting up. Gonna go in on these elk. We got Lad here, David, and Danny. New crew. and a small bull that I just showed you and a really nice bull that looks like he's making his way right to those cows and we're thinking he's going to kick this little bull's butt and steal his cows so we're kind of watching from afar right now
Here he is. And uh, he has a couple of cows, but he's making his way away from us, and we don't have enough light left to go after him. So I think we're going to call it today. But David had the find of the day. Nice. Don't you think you could just like <coughs> just kill somebody with that thing? <laughs> Their yeah, it, it's like last the Mohicans style, right? Samson and the jawbone of an ass. It's David and the elk horn of an elk. An elk and an ass, <laughs> and, I said ass on ass, shit. Ass, <laughs> ass, ass finding. Oh, there's a
and then what we'll do is we'll get the shed antler. Yeah. And you can hold it up like right at the head. We could be a bull and you too. could bugle. Mm -hmm. Then you better run like hell. Yeah. <laughs> he comes in. He comes like, in. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> if he comes down like that, <laughs> you better like he's doing them cows. Put him on my butt. I've been hunting for a few days. <laughs> I just thought I'd, I'd buy a piece of yours. I, I told him, so you know, he said, you know what, Dad? I was thinking about buying you. All right, I just wanted to make one last final wrap-up clip we hunted Friday Saturday and then Monday and it is 12 o'clock on Tuesday but um, man it, it was just such a good time you know uh, hunting with good people and making tons of memories seeing lots of animals um, having some close encounters today um, you know getting close to that bull and all those cows I wish we it literally five minutes could have made a huge difference um, if we had gotten up there a little bit earlier, but that's just how it goes. You learn really quick just how many things have to go, how to have to come together perfectly for it to work out. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the footage. If we can get out again Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, my, my father-in-law and lad both are they have the entire time off, so they'll be hunting um, for the remainder of the hunt until they get one. So um, I might be able to put up a, a victory clip after this. So here he is. Probably hard to get perspective here. But uh, he is a, he would be a six by six, but has a, that broken off main beam after his fourth point on that left side. So he was a little bit of a scrappy, scrappy bull with really good fronts on him. These fronts are really cool and come out pretty far. So, but a good, just symmet symmetrical bull. Here's his. So you can kind of get an idea of his royal, <clears throat> my entire forearm. Not that I'm the biggest guy in the world, but. And then these fronts come up and curve really well. It's his second points, both sides are really cool. Anyway, we're not exactly sure what we're gonna do with him. European mount or, or what, but we'll try to figure that out. But just wanted to show that off. All right, guys, thanks for watching.